Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and my channel's name is of course Speculative Magpie and wow this is some weird lighting. Hold on a second. Okay Google white light. There much better. That would have been fun for Halloween but you know so we'll just stick with this. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel. I am doing an unexpected uh, video cause, um, well, people bought me books <laughs> or gave me books. So I thought we'd do a little book haul. Most of these are not new. So um, yeah, these are just books people um, sent me and I am just really happy to have them and I thought I'd share. So these books, right here all these came from a friend of mine heather she has a um subscription box uh and she was showing me some of the books that she got sent and it's a different subscription box than nightworms and she got sent some pretty cool books and she asked me if i wanted to read them and i was like well duh so i thought i would read them and because there's so many of them, I went ahead and decided to make a video before I go to bed. So, let's get into it. So, I didn't know she was going to be sending me the this many books. Um, there were two books that she asked me if I wanted to read. And one of them was, of course, Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel. So, I love... Hocus Pocus. It came out in, I think, 1994, and that's when I saw it in the theaters, because it just seemed like the kind of movie that I wanted to go see, and they made a book, like, a couple years ago, and for some reason, I just never got around to getting it. So, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. I watch it every year, that and Monster Squad, because those movies are just so much fun. But, you know, of course, the first book follows the movie, and the second book, the sequel, follows the child of some of the characters in the first. So, I'm looking so forward to reading this. And then the second book that she asked me if I wanted to read was this one. Isn't that cover fucking cool? It is We Are Where the Nightmares Go and Other Stories by C. Robert Cargill. Now, this guy, he's written the Sinister movies, several other books, and <clears throat> this is just a book of short stories. And I like his, his movies, so never read any of his books, so I figured... Reading his short stories might be kind of fun. And I tend to like short story collections. I have quite a few. And then these are the bonus books that she sent me. This one here, Supernatural Short Stories, um, edited by Joshua Perry. Now, this is a book of older short stories and by Older short stories. Look at that. It's such a neat book. It's a pretty book. Um, like, like Charlotte Perking, Perkings Gilman. She wrote The Yellow Wallpaper. That's like one of my favorite short stories. It is so creepy. And being a woman and a mom, I can definitely relate to that story. I haven't read it since college. And it was pretty creepy then. I wonder what it'd be like reading it now that I've actually gone through motherhood and all that stuff. And then there's like uh, The Vampire by John William Polidori. And um, let's see. A Whistle and I'll Come to You, My Lad by M.R. James. I've read that one. Um, Dracula's Guest by... Bram Stoker and Arthur Matchins, The White People. So I've read about like three stories in here and then the rest are new to me. So this will be fun. This is, this, this is just a really pretty book. It's got some good heft to it. 
And I just pretty much like the way that it's laid out. It's just a really nice looking book. Okay. Now this one here, American Hotel Story. Yeah, the title's kind of based off of um, American Horror Story. I liked the first season, the first three seasons, but after that I was kind of iffy. I didn't really mind too much if I didn't happen to catch it. But this one is about the Cecil Hotel. Of course, the Cecil Hotel now has been rebranded. Um, I wonder why they felt the need to do that. Um, but I have always been fascinated with the Cecil Hotel. I mean, I knew about it long before uh, American Horror Story came in. And this is just a short little interesting book. Now, this author, Richard Estep, I'm kind of a paranormal freak as well as a true crime freak. And he's written stories like The Horrors of the Fox Hollow Farm. Seriously, if you don't know anything about Fox Hollow Farm, look it up. That is some seriously freaky and messed up shit there. And Trail of Terror, Serial Killers, In Search of the Paranormal. Definitely going to have to check out more of this guy's writing, especially if, you know, they're short and sweet and to the point like this book appears to be. And then this one is Mentally Ill in Amityville by William Saviv. Murder, Mystery, and Mayhem at 112 Ocean Avenue, 2nd Edition. Now, I loved the movies, and I read the book, and I know a lot about Ed and Lorraine Warren, which my opinions will remain that, just my opinions. Um, we won't go into them because they're probably not popular opinions, but I'm excited to read this one. I haven't read like really true accounts of Amityville except for that one book that was written with Ed and L Lorraine Warren. So yeah, those are the books that um, my friend Heather sent me and I'm excited to read them. They all look really interesting and a lot of fun. And then today, I went out with my sister-in-law, and my sister-in-law knows I like books, and she knows I like thrifting, and we went to this local, like, charity thrifting store, and she was looking for, like, Christmas decorations, and I was just kind of hanging out, spending time with her, and I, of course, wandered over to the book section, and found some books. Um, there really wasn't a lot to pick from. It was mostly um, authors that I don't read. Um, now, I have read some Jude Devereaux, and there were a lot of hers, but I only like like three or four of Jude Devereaux's books. But I found these three. Um, these three books came to a grand total of $3.15. And she bought them for me, which I thought was really nice of her. So let's talk about them. Now, I've mentioned her before. This is Heather Graham. Heather Graham is like my comfort read. She's uh, very formulaic. Um, you know what you're getting in when you read her. But she writes really... There's some scenes in, in her books that tend to be really creepy. I love her plots. It's like bubblegum candy for your brain and I just really enjoy Heather Graham Graham is just like this fun palate cleanser I just love her stories they're like detective mystery novels with a paranormal romance twist and I just think they're fun and it usually takes me about a day or two to read one now this one here book one of Raymond E. Feist's Talon of the Silver Hawk. Now, I have a couple Raymond E. Feist um, books. Um, he kind of runs the gambit. He's either horror, fantasy, sci-fi, or a mixture of all three. <laughs> and he writes pretty interesting books. And I've read probably about five or six of his. This one was book one. I enjoy the author, and so I picked it up. And, yeah. 
Then this last one is a Dean Koontz book. 77 Shadow Street. Now, I love older Dean Koontz books. One of my favorite Dean Koontz books is Twilight Eyes. I also really like um, Watchers, um, Phantoms, because Ben Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms, yo. Sorry, quoting a movie, never mind. Um, I read a lot of him, and I liked uh, Hideaway, TikTok, just Dragon Tears, all kinds of different ones. There was uh, even like like the first two Odd Thomas books. I thought those were really good. Um, this one sounds interesting. It's about a haunted apartment complex. I <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot, I guess. But Dean Koontz lately for me has been sort of like a hit or miss. But I still like to give him a chance because I really did enjoy a lot of his earlier work. And I did review one of his earlier works uh, on here, uh, The Fun House, which, which was a, a lot of fun. Um, so I'm definitely going to give 77 Shadow Street a try. So that's my book haul um, from very generous friends and family. And um, I'll see you next time, okay? Thank you for coming by so we can talk about some more books and things. And thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.